All right, happy you are here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how you can get marker off of a child's toy. If you're watching this video, that maybe is what you are trying to find a solution for, right? Look at that, your kid drew on a toy yet again. So how can you get this off? So good news and bad news, I've got some good ideas here for you. And uh, of course, depending on the type of marker that you've used, it may or may not work. So the first thing that you should maybe think about trying that worked for me is some hand sanitizer. Check this out, it takes up a lot of that top coat of the marker that water just simply won't do by itself. However, it does leave a stain on the top of the hair. Can you see that? It's still kind of stained red. Now the lips, it definitely got the red off. I was unsure as to how much, you know, was it still marker? She colored it red, um, or maybe it was already supposed to be on there. So, but, but generally the, the hand sanitizer worked well. However, this stain down here on the leg, you're gonna watch throughout this video. Uh, long story short, I could not get that off. It was not budging. I don't know what kind of marker it was, um, but the hair and the lips, definitely we've got some solutions for you. So the bad news, uh, you know, if you've your kid used a permanent marker, um, you might be up the creek without a paddle here, but you could certainly try again. Um, hand sanitizer. Also try some Dawn soap, Dawn dish soap. It's very underrated as a cleaner. So put some of that on there and just let it sit. Put a little bit of water to kind of activate it and then maybe just let it sit. You want it to be nice and slick and slippery. Uh, you know, let it sit for 30 minutes and see if that does anything and then wipe it clean with a uh, wet rag or paper towel. That didn't seem to do much Certainly in this case, that stain right there, that marker, it does not budge. Next up, I have some, it's like uh, this special degreaser, kind of a generic, I think it's called like crud cutter or something. And I'll put links down below in the descriptions for everything that you see, as I usually do. So if the video is going too fast or you just want to learn more, you can definitely check that out. Another thing that I tried was uh, the classic baking soda with vinegar. So I sprinkled on some baking soda onto the stained marker area and then activated that with a little bit of vinegar here and didn't have any noticeable result. That hand sanitizer definitely did the trick or was preferable, but you never know. If you don't have any hand sanitizer, you might want to start with this. Maybe that will work. Now we've got some staining on that blue hair. Um, and pretty soon you'll see what I used to, to actually get rid and lift up that stain. So it's pretty much all blue. So hopefully that can, can help you. I always recommend starting with the most uh, neutral, right? So the most natural. You don't want to actually damage the toy, for goodness sakes. That would be bad. But um, looks like we're pretty clean on everything. That leg stain, of course, giving me lots of trouble. All right. Now, depending on the toy, you may or may not be able to rinse the cleaning agents off after each use. You want to be careful not to mix chemicals or anything like that, right? Uh, so next up, I tried some good old-fashioned bleach. I was really careful. I didn't want to damage the toy, but I just put a little straight bleach concentrate onto a paper towel. And you know, certainly you want to wear gloves and protect yourself and your countertops if you're using bleach. But uh, this actually, I kind of wiped like this, and that actually had great uh, results getting lifting that those stain that stained blue hair um, up. In other words, you could really see no more uh, pink or red. It did not have any effect on that darn leg marker. So again, I don't know what was used in that situation, but if bleach can't take care of it, uh, I don't know what can. And the bleach did not seem to, you know, damage the blue uh, hair color at all. So that was nice. I rinsed it with water after I lifted the uh, the marker up, but you can see it pretty much got rid of, of everything there, not so much there. Uh, but yeah, you'll definitely want to test it in an inconspicuous area before you do any bleach. And you could also consider soaking it in bleach or so leaving a piece of bleach soaked paper towel on it for 30 minutes to see if that does anything but in this case no and i'm i accept defeat i am okay with that uh, i got some of it off but not all of it but hey that's the name of the game right you try your best here 
Uh, but anyway, we will go ahead and stop the video there. Hopefully that's given you some ideas to help lift out marker on a child's toy. So thanks so much. Hopefully this has helped. Click that like button if it has, and don't forget to subscribe.